For a lot of us, the sounds of the New Year's began with fireworks, but a few Hawaii families began 2014 with a different sound. That's right, the sound <laughs> of babies crying. KITV4's Paul Drews introduces us to two of the new babies born in the new year. Not long after the midnight fireworks to celebrate a new year, a celebration of a different kind took place at the North Hawaii Community Hospital as Prentice and Wase was born at 1247, the state's baby new year. But he wasn't the only boy born early this morning. Meet the first baby of the new year on Oahu, Noah Emmanuel Laban. We wanted something with a lot of meaning, a Christian meaning. Noah just couldn't wait to get here. My due date was January 12th. Instead of a noisy New Year's Eve to ring in 2014, Mom Tiffany planned to stay at her Makiki home to rest and watch movies. But sudden labor pains late last night changed everything. Noah's arrival was days early, but not completely unexpected. When I went to the doctors earlier in the day, I was already four centimeters. So he said it could be any time. Noah's family was surprised by this early delivery, which came after only an hour of labor, too quick even for an epidural. But this isn't the first surprise Noah has given them. My mom, my sister, and my dad, um, they, they wanted a baby girl, but I wanted a baby boy, and I was a correct. Eight-year-old Elijah, who grew his hair out to show his new brother, is proud he was the only one to pick the right sex of their new baby. And already has big plans for his little brother. I'm gonna take care of him, and and I'm just gonna love him because he's my baby brother, and he's so little cute to me. At the Kaiser Birthing Center, Paul Drews, KITV4 News.